I always have had the belief of it's gonna happen. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be, you know, make millions of dollars and be a superstar, but I think I can play music. And that's the dream for me, is to just be able to play music, because I'd love to do it. I had enough people tell me you need to go to Nashville and try your luck in Nashville. So in 2014, I packed my truck up and moved to Nashville and been there ever since. I got the phone call to, uh, to help out the Jesse Reese Foundation, and I was told that they have all stars. And I was asked to come into a hospital and play some music for children. And I said, sign me up. To be able to go into a kid's room and see them and see their families and to hopefully put a, put a smile on their face through me playing a song for them, um, I know a little bit of what they're going through. In 2016, I was diagnosed with cancer. And so I know that you have those little pockets of joy, but then you're gonna have some rough times too. And so um, hopefully I can bring them as much joy as I possibly can in those few minutes. And when those kids see that joy jar and they, they like a lot of them will just like try to grab it out of your hand, right? It's kind of funny. That is, that is the reason we go into the rooms is for her joy jar and to see the love and the, and, and the happiness on the kids' faces with, the, with those toys. We are at one of the hospital visits and we walked into a room and he's sitting on his bed and his parents are here and he's finger painting. I didn't even cross the threshold of the door and he like sees me and he's like, guitar! Fingers full of red paint. And I was like, this is gonna be awesome. Basically, he like starts to grab my guitar with his, with his red painted fingers and so I had like this red paint all over my guitar. I left it on there. We started playing uh, what was it? Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. And we did it 30 times. And you're just like, again, 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 again. He was just in a diaper, <laughs> like jumping on his bed and messing with my guitar. And I'm playing this song that I've, you know, obviously I don't play that song at my gigs. And he's just having the time of his life. That one was uh, an amazing visit. That was really, really fun. And if I can go into a room and put a smile on their face, on their parents' faces, on their siblings' faces. If you've got a five-year-old child going through it, that's hard enough, but if they've got a seven-year-old sibling, they're going through it too. You see the joy not only on, on the patient's face and on the child's face, but also on the sibling's face. And that's what it's all about. It's, it's bringing, Jesse wanted to bring joy to everybody. It's the, the never ever give up motto is so appropriate. It's not only never ever give up to the kid, it's never ever give up to their entire support system. There really is no feeling like being able to go into a room and to see a smile on a kid's face. Very, very grateful for that because I get the opportunity to go in and hopefully shine a light into someone's day for a short period of time. And sometimes those short bursts of light in a very dark time for somebody means everything. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. From somebody who understands a little bit of what you're going through, I want to encourage you to never ever give up. There's an army behind you. Even if some days it doesn't feel like it, know that we're with you and never ever give up and keep on fighting. <laughs>